Good everybody, this is Brother Brandon coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas with another daily Bible reading. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of 2 Samuel and we will go ahead and pick up from where we left off. <coughs> the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 1. Now it came to pass, after the death of Saul, when David was returned from the slaughter of the Amalekites, and David had abode two days in Ziklag, it came even to pass on the third day that, behold, a man came out of the camp from Saul with his clothes rent and earth upon his head. And so it was when he came to, to David that he fell to the earth and did obeisance. And David said unto him, From whence comest thou? And he said unto him, Out of the camp of Israel am I escaped. And David said unto him, How went the matter? I pray thee, tell me. And he answered, That the people are fled from the battle, and many of the people also are fallen and dead. And dead. And Saul and Jonathan his son are dead also. And David said unto the young man that told him, How knowest thou that Saul and Jonathan his son be dead? And the young man that told him said, as I happened by chance upon Mount Gilboa, behold, Saul leaned upon his spear, and lo, the chariots and horsemen followed hard after him. And when he looked behind him, he saw me and called unto me, and I answered, Here am I. And he said unto me, Who art thou? And I answered him, I am an Amal Amalekite. He said unto me again, Stand, I pray thee, upon, and slay me, for anguish is come upon me, because my life is yet whole in me. So I stood upon him and slew him, because I was sure that he could not live after that he was fallen. And I took the crown that was upon his head, and the bracelet that was on his arm, and have brought them hither unto my Lord. Then David took hold on his clothes, and rent them, and likewise all the men that were with him. And they mourned and wept and fasted until even for Saul and for Jonathan his son and for the people of the Lord and for the house of Israel because they were fallen by the sword. And David said unto the young man that told him, Whence art thou? And he answered, I am the son of a stranger, an Amalekite. And David said unto him, How wast thou not afraid to stretch forth thine hand to destroy the Lord's anointed? And David called one of the young men and said, Go near and fall upon him. And he smote him that he died. And David said unto, him, said unto him, Thy blood be upon thy head, for thy mouth hath testified against thee, saying, I have slain the Lord's anointed. And David lamented with, the, with this lamentation over Saul and over Jonathan his son. Also he bade them teach the children of Judah the use of the bow, Behold, it is written in the book of Jasher. The beauty of Israel is slain upon thy high places. How are the mighty fallen? Tell it not in Gath. Publish it not in the streets of Ashkelon. Lest the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Lest the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. Ye mountains of Gilboa, let there be no dew, neither let there be... Neither let the... Let there be rain upon you, nor fields of offerings, for there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away, the shield of Saul, as though he had not been anointed with oil. From the blood of the slain, from the fat of the mighty, the bow of Jonathan shall not back, and the sword of Saul return not empty. Saul and Jonathan were lovely and pleasant in their lives, and in their deaths they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles. They were stronger than the lions. Ye daughters of Israel, weep over Saul, who clothed you in scarlet, with other delights, who put on ornaments of gold upon your apparel. How are the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle? O Jonathan, thou wast slain in thine high places. I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy, thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. How are the mighty fallen and the weapons of war perished? Second Samuel, 
chapter 2. And it came to pass after this, that David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up into any of the cities of Judah? And the Lord said unto him, Go up. And David said, Whither shall I go up? And he said, Unto Hebron. So David went up thither, and his two wives, also Ahinam, the Jezreelitess, and Abigail, Nabal's wife, the Carmelite, and his men that were with him, did David bring up every man with his household, and they dwelt in the cities of Hebron. And the men of Judah came, over, came, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. And they told David, saying, that the men of Jabesh Gilead were they that buried, were they that buried Saul. And David sent messengers unto the men of Jabesh Gilead and said unto them, Blessed be ye the Lord, that ye have shewed this kindness unto your Lord, even unto Saul, and have buried him. And now the Lord shew kindness and truth unto you, and I also will requite you this kindness, because ye have done this thing. Therefore now let your hands be strengthened, and be ye valiant, for your master Saul is dead, and also the house of Judah have anointed me king over them. But Abner the son of Ner, captain of Saul's host, took Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, and brought him over to Mahanaim, and made him king over Gilead and over the, the Asherites, and over Jezreel, and over Ephraim, and over Benjamin, and over all Israel. And Ishbosheth, Saul's son, was forty years old when he began to reign over Israel, and reigned two years. But the house of Judah followed David. And the time that David was king in Hebron over the house of Judah was seven years and six months. And Abner, the son of Ner, and the servants of Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, went out from Mananahim to Gibeon. And Joab the son of Zeruah, Zeruiah, and the servants of David went out and met together by the pool of Gibeon. And they sat down, the one, the one on the one side of the pool, and the other side, and the other on the other, other side of the pool. And Abner said to Joab, Let the young men now arise and play before us. And Joab said, Let them arise. Then there arose and went over by number twelve of Benjamin, which pertained to Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, and twelve of the servants of David. And they caught every one of the and they caught every one his fellow by the by the head, and thrust his sword in his fellow's side. So they fell down together. Wherefore the that place was called Hilkah Hasarim, which is in Gibeon. And there was a very sore battle that day, and Abner was beaten, and the men of Israel before the servants of David. And there were three sons of Zeruiah, Zeruiah. there Joab and Abishai and Ashiel, and Ashiel was as light of foot as a wild roe. And Ashiel pursued after Abner, and in going he turned not to the right hand nor to the left from following Abner. Then Abner looked behind him and said, Art thou Ashiel? And he answered, I am. And Abner said to him, Turn thee aside to thy right hand or to thy left hand, and lay thee hold on one of the young men, and take thee his armor. But Ashiel would not turn aside from following him. And Abner said unto Ashiel, Turn thee aside from following me, wherefore should I smite thee to the ground? How then should I hold up my face to Joab, the, thy brother? Howbeit he refused to turn aside, wherefore Abner with the hinder end of the spear smote him under the fifth rib, that the spear came out behind him, and he fell down there and died in the same place. And it came to pass that as many as came to the place where Ashiel fell down and died and stood still. Joab also and Abishai pursued after Abner, and the sun went down. When they were come to the hill of Amah that lieth before Gai, Gai, by the way of the wilderness of Gibeon, and the children of Benjamin gathered themselves together after Abner and became one troop, 
and stood on the top of an hill. Then Abner called to Joab and said, Shall the sword devour forever? Knowest thou not that it will be bitterness in the latter end? How long shall it be then ere thou bid the people return from following their brethren? And Joab said, As God liveth, unless thou hast spoken. Surely then in the morning the people had gone up, every one of the following, following his brother. So Joab blew a trumpet, and all the people stood still and pursued after Israel no more, neither fought they any more. And Abner and his men walked all that night through the plain and passed over Jordan and went through all Bithreon, and they came to Mahanaim. And Joab returned, then returned from following Abner. And when he had gathered all the people together, there lacked of David's servants nineteen men and Ashiel. But the servants of David had smitten of Benjamin and of Abner's men, so that three hundred and threescore men died. And they took up Ashiel and buried him in the sepulchre of his father, which was in Bethlehem. And Joab and his men went all night, and they came to Hebron at break of day. Second Samuel chapter 3 Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. And unto David were sons born in Hebron, and his first was Amon of Anilim, the Jezreelitess, and his sec and his second Keli of Abigail, the wife of Nabal the Carmelite, and the third Absalom, Absalom, the son of Mekah, the daughter of Talmai, the king of Geshur, and the fourth Abinijah, the son of Haggith, and the fifth Shephatah, Shephatah, the son of Abitel, the son of Abtel, and the sixth. And the sixth, Ethereem, the Eglah, David's wife. These were born to David in Hebron. And it came to pass, while there was war between the house of Saul and the house of David, that Abner made himself strong for the house of Saul. And Saul had a concubine whose name was Ritzpah, the daughter of Ahiah, and Ishbosheth said to Abner, Wherefore hast thou gone into my father's concubine? Then was Abner very wroth for the words of Ishbosheth, and said, Am I a dog's head, which against Judah do shew kindness this day unto the house of Saul thy father, to his brethren and to his friends, and have not delivered thee into the hand of David, that thou chargest me to today with a fault concerning this woman? So do God to Abner, and much more also, except as the Lord hath sworn to David, even so I do to him. To, trans, to translate the, the kingdom from the house of Saul, and to set it up, to set up the throne of David over Israel and over Judah, from Dan, even to Beersheba. And he could not answer Abner a word again, because he feared him. And Abner sent messengers to David on his behalf, saying, Whose is this land? Saying, Also make thy league with me, and behold, my hand shall be with thee, to bring about all, is all Israel unto thee. And he said, Well, I will make a league with thee, but one thing I require of thee, that is, thou shalt not see my face, except thou first bring Mishael, Saul's daughter, when thou comest to see my face. And David sent messengers to Ishbosheth, Saul's son, saying, Deliver me my wife Mishael, which I espouse to me for a hundred foreskins of the Philistines. And Ishbosheth sent and took her from her husband, even from Phetiel, the son of Laish. And her husband went with her, along weeping behind her, to Baharim. Then said Abner unto him, Go return, and he returned. And Abner had communication with the elders of Israel, saying, Ye sought for David in times past to be king over, over you. Now then do it, for the Lord has spoken of David, saying, By the hand of my servant David, 
I will save my people Israel out of the hand of the Philistines and out of the hand of all their enemies. But Abner also spoke in the ears of Benjamin. And Abner went also to speak in the ears of David and Hebron, all that seemed good to Israel and that seemed good to the whole house of Benjamin. So Abner came to David to Hebron and 20 men with him. And David made Abner and the men that were with him a feast. And Abner said unto David, I will arise and go, and will gather all Israel unto my lord the king, that they may make a league with thee, and that thou mayest reign over all that thine heart desireth. And David sent Abner away, and he went in peace. And behold, the servants of David and Joab came from pursuing a troop, and brought in great spoil with them. But Abner was not with David in Hebron, for he had sent him away, and he was gone in peace. When Joab and all the hosts that was with him were come, they told Joab, saying, Abner, the son of Ner, came to the king, and he has sent him away, and he has gone in peace. Then Joab came to the king and said, What hast thou done? Behold, Abner came unto thee. Why is it that thou hast sent him away, and he is qu quite gone? Thou knowest Abner, the son of Ner, that he came to deceive thee, and to know thy going out and thy coming in, and to know all that thou doest. And when Joab was come out from David, he sent messengers after Abner, which sought him again from the well of Syrah, but David knew it not. And when Abner was returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside in the gate to speak with him quietly, and smote him there under the fifth rib that he died. For the blood of Eshiel his brother. And afterward when David heard it. He said I and my kingdom are guiltless before the Lord forever. From the blood of Abner the son of Ner. Let it rest on the head of Joab. And all his father's house. And let there not fail. From the house of Joab. One that hath an issue. Or that is a leper. Or that leaneth on a staff. Or that falleth on a sword. Or that lacketh bread. So Joab and Ab Abishai, his brother, slew Abner because he had slain their brother Ashiel at Gibeon in the battle. And David said to Joab and to all the people that were with him, Rend your clothes and gird you with sackcloth and mourn before Abner. And King David himself followed the buyer. And they buried Abner and Hebron. And the king lifted up his voice and wept at the grave of Abner. And all the people wept. And the king lamented over Abner and said, Died Abner as a fool dieth. As a fool dieth. Thy hands were not bound, nor thy feet put in fetters, as a man falleth before wicked men. So fellest thou. And all the people wept over, wept again over him. And when all the people came, came to cause David to eat meat, while it was yet day, David sware, saying, So do God to me. And more also, if I taste bread or aught else, till the, till the sun be down. And all the people took notice of it, and it pleased them, as whatsoever the king did pleased all the people. For all the people and all Israel understood that the day that it was not of the king to slay Abner, the son of Ner. And the king said unto his servants, Know ye not that there is a prince? And a great man fallen this day in Israel. And I am this day weak, though anointed king. And these men, the, the sons of Zuri, Zuriah, be too hard for me. The Lord shall reward the doer of evil according to his wickedness. Alright guys, that's going to probably be it for today. And um, next time we will pick up on 2 Samuel chapter 4. And uh, please continue to pray for me as I continue reading the Word of God and preaching the Word of God. Um, if you guys like what I'm doing, you can feel free to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you just go to YouTube.com and type in Fishers and Men Ministries, Brandon Swanson, and hit the, 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 the subscribe button. And if you want to get, if you want updates to all my videos, you just hit the notification bell and hit all. That way you can get all of my, all, all the updates to all new videos that I will do. 
or you can add me on Facebook or you can check me out on Sermon Audio and Sermon Audio is sermonaudio.com and then you just type in Fishers and Men Ministries and that will show you all the videos I've ever done as per preaching and teaching and I have all the, the Bible readings on there as well so you can feel free to check that out there as well. Um, I think that's going to be it for now. I love you guys. God bless you and we'll see you in the next one. God bless you guys. See ya. Bye.